Trees are marvelous. No wonder so many people all over the world developed a great devotion to them. In many regions, they are venerated, sometimes even worshipped, as symbols of God and the life God gave us. Jesus frequently compares the kingdom of God to a tree and says things like, Take the fig tree as a parable. Even in the book of Revelation, the tree of life grows on either bank of the river that flows through the New Jerusalem, the leaves of which are the cure of the nations. Jesus invites us to look at trees, which symbolize the abundance of creation. Looking at their twigs and branches, we will be able to gauge where we are, what life is about, how we belong together. He even says, I am the vine, you are the branches. We need this advice more than ever before. The trees around us are no longer that healthy. Acid rain and other forms of pollution have destroyed a great many of them. Whole tropical forests are rapidly being cut down and are disappearing. Species of plants and animals are being lost. The balance of nature is seriously being disturbed. The original forest dwellers are often doomed. Sometimes it is as if you can feel the end as near. What can we do? Follow the words of Jesus in a more literal sense that humanity ever did before, as far as trees and what they stand for are concerned. Trees give life. They feed and cover us and provide oxygen. Their wood warms us. The paper made from them keeps us in communication with each other. We should look at them, diagnose our own environmental and ecological state of affairs from them, and learn from them as Jesus suggested.